I know a lot of you guys have been wondering why I haven't done a video about the success of Revival of F, Picasso No F, Resurrection F, since I pretty much have been covering how well it was doing internationally prior to the release in North America. Well, I haven't done one because I've been waiting for the run to end here in North America, and the run is indeed over. Revival of F, Resurrection F, Dragon Ball Z's 19th Toei animated feature film has earned... $8 million in its limited U.S. release. Uh, there were reports all over the country of sold-out theaters, packed theaters, um, theaters that had people of all kinds of ages, little kids, teenagers, 20-year-olds, 30-year-olds. Everybody loves Dragon Ball. Big success. Now, I want you guys to understand something, though. Uh, it is doing very well for a limited release, but please understand that the film is doing well for an anime movie for sure, but it's not like it's breaking any records like, you know, one of the Marvel movies, obviously. It's not going to be on that level, but we should, as Dragon Ball fans, definitely celebrate this entire, you know, the whole success of Dragon Ball in this country in theaters. It just ran right through Battle of Gods. Battle of Gods, I believe, did 2 million. This movie's at 8 million. And just so you guys know, they are going to be opening up some more theaters, some more showings all the way through Monday. So definitely keep an eye out on your box office. If you have not seen this movie, go see it. Um, it is, of course, English dub. But like we said in our review yesterday, the dub is pretty damn good. So definitely don't forget to check out Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. And who knows what the future is going to be for Dragon Ball. And in addition to that, the film is the ninth highest grossing domestic anime release in the United States, defeating The Wind Rises. So pretty damn good. I mean, number one was Pokemon, the first movie. And those of you who have been around for a while and remember how big Pokemon the first movie was. I mean, that thing was legitimately pop culture mainstream. Uh, I believe it stands tall at around 43 million domestic anime. For those of you wondering, you know, what's the biggest anime movie of all time in total? According to the numbers that I've been looking at, the biggest anime movie ever is Spirited Away. That's Japanese, North American, just everywhere. Spirited Away has made the most money of any other anime. But it's good to see Dragon Ball cracking that top 10, and it'll be there for quite some time. Will the next movie be able to top it? I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But just wanted to drop that quick, quick video here about this, and uh, very happy that Dragon Ball is doing so well. Again, guys, understand it's not doing anywhere near the numbers of a real mainstream movie, but for a niche and I hate using that word, but Dragon Ball is somewhat niche and it is built on nostalgia. But for a, a solid fan base of people coming back who watched it as a kid, it's doing pretty damn well. So, all right. Well, I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you down the road.